Hi everyone, uh, I welcome you to this lecture. This lecture is about um, compound generators. Uh, there are two types of compound generators. is what we call a short shunt as well as a long shunt. In this presentation, we are going to discuss a short shunt. So a short shunt generator is a generator which is in this manner. It's got a load, uh, the amateur resistance, shunt resistance, as well as the series resistance and it's connected in this manner. The relationships are in the armature, that's where current is generated. When it's generated, it splits. The other one goes to the series resistor before it enters the load, whereas the other one passes through the shunt resistor. So the armature resistor is simply a summation of two res uh, The armature current is a summation of two currents, the shunt current as well as the load current. The current passing through the series resistor is the same as the load. So the series current is equal to the load current. Because it's one current passing through the end. Then the voltage drop across the shunt resistor is given by the voltage drop across the series as well as the voltage at the load. So the voltage at the shunt is given by that relationship, whereas the generated voltage, the voltage in the armature, is given by the voltage at the load plus the armature which is generated. It's a mission, uh, product of armature current and uh, armature resistance as well as the voltage drop across the series resistor. So this is the relationship. And we've got the power developed in the armature. The power developed in the armature is given by the voltage generated times the armature current, whereas the power delivered to the load is given by the voltage at the load and the load current or the series current since it's the same. These are the relationships. With that said, let's try to attempt the question. A short shunt compound generator delivers a load of current 30 amps. So we've got the load current. We've got the load current of 30 amps at V220. So we have V, which is 220. And has armature, series field, and shunt field resistors of those. So the armature is 0 0.05 amateur resistor um, amateur series field the series field resistor is given by 0 0.3 ohms and the shunt field resistor which is 200 ohms shunt field resistor is 200 ohms respectively. Calculate the induced EMF, which is the EG, and the amateur current. So let's carry out. You want us to find this as well as the amateur current. So for us to calculate those, for us to find the amateur current, you realize from the previous uh, lecture, uh, from the diagram, the amateur current is, is produced in the armature, the armature current. It's a summation of two currents. So the armature current is a summation of the load current as well as the shunt current. In here we've been given the load current which is 30 amps, we just don't have the shunt current. So the shunt current can come from this expression here. When you make shunt current the subject here, you're going to have series resistor multiplying load current plus V then this will divide shunt resistor this will give us the series resistor is 0 0.3 by the load current which is 30 this adding to the voltage which is 220 divided by the shunt resistor which is 200. When we carry out our calculations, we will realize that our shunt current will be 1.145 amps. That would be the shunt current. So we can substitute this into that for us to find the amateur current. 
and this would be the load current, we know it is 30, plus the shunt current, which we know it's 1.145. And it will give us the amateur current of 31.145 amps. So that will be our amateur current. And the other one is the EMF induced, which is the, uh, the generated voltage. So generated voltage from the expression which I just uh, got rid of is given by the voltage plus IARA plus IARE or IERE then this will give us the voltage is 220 we are adding this to the amateur current which is at 1.145 is multiplying the amateur resistor of 0 0.05 then we are adding this to load current which is 30 and it's multiplying the series resistor which is 0 0.3 we'll get our generated voltage or the voltage induced which will be 220 plus 31.145 and 0.25 so we are going to get 230.56 volts. This will be the generated voltage. In the next lecture, we are going to do a demonstration on long shunt generators. Thank you.